I used to do this social experiment when I was out, and I would always get, I would have a conversation with usually one or three girls, right? And I'll be like, okay, what do you want from a man? No hesitation. They giving me a laundry list, right? I want good looks. I want money. I want body. All this stuff, right? And I'm yeah. egging it on. I'm like, okay, yeah, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. But what and are you then, gonna give? Hold the, ex- so, what are you gonna? So give, at the though? end of the conversation, I'm like. So what do you bring to the table? And then you wonder why we hoes out here. And then because there's that's where the energy giving. What are you giving? That's where the energy switched. And then they went from excited to tell me their list to offended that I even mentioned that. Yeah, bro. And you wonder why. I used to do this social experiment. Guys, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That really helps out the channel. Also, if you could share this with someone you think needs to see this, that would that really help me out. So I've been doing, um, I usually show women on my on my channel, but I've been trying to listen more to what men are saying on their on TikTok and around the around, you know, the internet. Because I don't think a lot of women see these things. Of course, there's viral clips of women acting crazy or saying deranged things. We all know what that is. And I'll do more of it. But I think more and more we need to be hearing from the voices of men. And I realize, let's be honest, the majority of people who watch my channel right now are men. But that's not an issue. The women will eventually come. But I think right now I'm doing work, um, healing work for a lot of men. I've actually had a lot of men um, message me that or tell me that, that they did not know there were women out there who listened or who were who were trying to make a difference and who cared about what was going on with them. So don't don't worry about that. That things will come if you build it, they will come. You know what was it? What was that? The field of dreams. But what you're seeing from this is over and over. We've seen it. Women want um, their needs met, but we are never we never think about what a man wants. And I blame it on how we are. Or how we are even we're programmed even as children i've said this before what are men taught as children about women for the most part okay you may not have been taught it directly but these are the general notions that are out there or sentiments uh treat a woman like a queen um uh don't disrespect a woman open doors be respectful um treat her like a lady all those types of you know um I guess, uh, things that people say to, to boys. But what are girls taught? For the most part, we are taught to fear men. We, we are warned about men. And we are, we're told more about bad men than good men. These generals like, don't, uh, don't let a man get in your pants. Don't let him get you pregnant. Get your education so you don't need a man. Get your career so you don't you're not you can be independent and not relying on a man. If a guy doesn't open doors for you, he's no good. This, this, that, and the other. Now, one of the reasons some people don't like it when I talk about that I'm a Christian, but this is why a lot of you who are not Christian need to understand something. I don't think anywhere else is submission, uh, patriarchy, and uh, respecting men and the things that I was taught as a child is, is taught anywhere. So a lot of guys who say, well, I'm not a Christian, I don't want, but I'm just telling you for the most part, the reason why I understand submission and I understand um, that a man is a headship and that I'm a help me and that he, you know, my parents didn't raise me to be a career woman. They didn't. I always knew I would just get married and be a housewife. It was, it was, um, it was almost frowned upon to have that independent mindset the framework of my childhood was submission and, and a man is the authority and the leader and the headship and that I I dreamed of being a housewife. That's how I was raised. But without that foundation, I don't think I would be who I am right now, nor would I understand uh, what men are talking about. But so this is why a lot of women have not been raised to understand what to bring uh, to a man. So when they say I'm just the table or they get offended, understand it's a deflection because if they have to actually reflect and look in the mirror of what they bring they know nothing's there and that's a very scary thought for a lot of women and so they will get offended because it's like how dare he ask me that because i don't have that answer no one's taught a woman what a man needs now men are more and more with the internet are saying what they want and i know to a lot of you guys are like well it's common sense it's not wisdom is taught there's a reason why submission is taught. It is not natural. It is the reason, 
when it when you look into the Bible, again, I'm not trying to make this some some preaching thing, but the Bible talks about how women need to be taught how to submit to their husbands. They have to be taught this. And if no one is teaching us this, they're not teaching what a man needs. If you're not understanding these things, it is offensive because the whole world has told you you are the prize. And then you just showing up, you just arriving, you having a female anatomy and looking cute is what they want, what a man wants. And see, a lot of us women are sabotaging sabotaging the dating market because what we do is we will we over sexualize ourselves because we think that that's what really keeps a man's and that really gets a man to have intentions towards you towards wanting a relationship for you wanting to marry you but it's not a man's intentions when you over sexualize yourself it's his sexual attention and many of us don't know the difference between sexual attention and intention but the issue is a lot we pursue men's sexual attention and we think that that is what they want that's all they want that's what they bring to the table that that's all they want us to bring to the table because we've never understood a man's mind what he desires how god designed men and how they're wired biologically and what they what and we don't know how to even meet those intentions so women are going to have to start going layers deep to teach yourself, we're all adults now. I'm sorry, like, listen, all of us have things in childhood we weren't taught. All of us have issues. But as adult women, as, as, as we grow up, you're going, it is your responsibility to learn these things. And if you're finding that you're getting the wrong results in relationships, look in the mirror. Am I attracting men with sexual attention? But I am misconstruing it for intention. And then when I'm not getting the results I want, I say all men just want Poonanny, all men just cheat, all men are dogs, men are dumb, men are this, that, and the other. But you keep presenting your body sexually to men and thinking, and you think you're going to get different results. But every other woman is presenting sexually as well. And that's why that guy say, and they wonder why we're dogs, because they're, they're, they're running through woman after woman after woman after woman because they're trying to find gold. They're trying to strike gold. They're trying to find the diamond in the rough where there is a woman who is actually presenting more to, to a man other than her body. And if you are getting the same results, if you're not finding, getting what you want out of man, it's not that the man may not be quality. It's just that you don't offer anything that he's looking for.